Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> huh. Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Huh. There's no safe way through that mess. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. It's completely flat. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Huh. 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 <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Hey. Yeah? Still sore? I took a bullet to the gut. What do you think? Maybe you should have stayed behind. I'll be all right. Think we'll find anything? Ain't much left in there. We'll see. Station wagon stuff's not gonna last as long as we thought. If we'd hit the road like I suggested, we wouldn't be in this situation. I'm coming up. Ladder's right there. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. The girl still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? She understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? 
Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, 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 shit! <sighs> Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here! Scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. She's gone. There's not much time now. I think that's everything! That girl didn't die for nothing, then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle! Oh, Jimmy! Help!
You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people. Not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? We got all the protection we need. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay.
Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What do you think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? You feel useful to the group? What? Useful? Yeah, how's your spirits? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just... I feel like a crazy person. Can I do anything for you? Yes. 
I need help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. I'll talk to you later. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you- Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no. No, I don't. Well, I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. I'll catch you later, Doug. There's some broken glass on the ground there. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Doc! A clue! Maybe. What do you-
you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, me. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. More chalk. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your out, there. out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! 
We ain't given second chances. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Get down here! 